and welcome to yet another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and today we are taking a look at the Zhenyun Smooth 4. This is the brand new cell phone camera gimbal. Let's just jump into it. First off, this has a lot of fantastic new bells and whistles, and I'm very excited about this. First off, the, the handle is made of a very sturdy plastic, and of course the top gimbal part is a lightweight metal, and it has the two points of adjustment up top, and it also comes with this fantastic tripod. It is a very sturdy plastic, and if you know anything about these gimbals, you'll know that this is very important to help balance your camera. So one of the other things I really love about this is the brand new lock mode. And basically you're just gonna push that down and it's gonna lock your cell phone into place so it's not gonna flop around and it's gonna save your battery if the gimbal is on. So, and then all you have to do is just pull it and there you go, you're back to neutral. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is on this camera on the front here. First off, you get a designated power button, which is super awesome. Um, and you get a power indicator light so you know how much power you have left. This is a huge improvement to just the, the red light going on when your battery is low. Right above that, you have a designated pan, follow, and locked off switch. One of the things that they've done is they have completely changed how you control the modes on your phone, on your gimbal. There's no more one button, two button, three button, what mode am I in? Uh, <laughs> that's completely, completely gone. Uh, and they have designated controls. And as you can see, I'll pick this up. The pan follow works great. It works left, it works right. If I move up and down, it stays where it is. Uh, for locked off, I can kind of move this any which way and it stays pretty much where it is. Swinging around to the uh, front here, let's take a look at all the new controls that this has. Uh, right above that power button and the uh, locking switch here, you have a designated record button. And then on the bottom you have on one side a foot picture taking button and on the other side you have this interesting crosshair uh, button. And what that is is that is a toggle between your uh, zooming in and out and your autofocus, which is controlled by the focus wheel. And that's gonna work with either the Zplay app or Filmic Pro. And that is super, super, super helpful. Then up top, you get a display button and you get a menu button. In the center, you have a wheel which controls uh, your shutter and aperture. And in the center, of course, you have a button that is going to turn on your camera's flashlight when you need to light those dark scenes. And of course, that is also a select button and then you have this very cool wheel. Uh, if you push down on the wheel, that'll get you into a gallery mode. If you push toward the little camera icon, that flips your front and rear facing camera. And then if you flip, push the wheel to the side here, that is going to access a exposure mode so you can really dial in your exposure. Flipping around to the other side, we have a USB-C. And then we have this very interesting trigger. And the trigger itself, if you press down on the trigger, that's gonna put you in an all mode. So that's basically going to make this follow any which way that you aim the camera, which is super cool. If you press up on the trigger, that is something new called a phone go mode. So I can go ahead and just put this up near my microphone and I'll hit record on this. And then when I let it go, it stays where I've put it. So you can get those weird Dutch angles or shots of the sky. And then just to release it, you double tap the bottom and it jumps back into neutral. So that is very cool. I really love the fact that they are putting in designated switches and buttons. And of course, on the side here, finally, you have the uh, autofocus wheel. Now, I do wish that this was not rubber. I wish it was a dry erase border so that you can make your markings. And I really wish there were just a few more markings on this thing, but I get it. It still works great. I know that Filmic Pro has focus peaking and false color, so you're gonna be okay on that front. And that's it. That is the Smooth 4, and I am really excited. Now, who is this gimbal for? It is for 
If you're taking the family on vacation, if you need it for work and you're covering conventions or doing interviews, uh, if you, you could even use this for documentaries, just add a clip on lens and a good microphone. You can use this for really anything, vlogging, YouTube, making films. This new follow focus system is fantastic. I wish more people would include it because follow focus systems are extremely expensive. Uh, but I am very, very psyched about this. And it will cost you about 140 bucks, which is super cheap and super affordable. So that's it. Let me know if you're gonna pick one of these up. And if you have, let me know what you think. Also, let me know what apps you're using with your cell phone. I know I have a Samsung Galaxy S, 7S, and there's a known problem with the camera working with things like Filmic Pro and other outside apps where it just it's just jittery. Uh, unfortunately. But let me know in the notes and comments below. Of course, if you have any questions, you can leave them there as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified when we post brand new videos. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.